Hey guys, Kevin here with Your Best Groove, and in the next couple of minutes, I'm going to show you how to use Groove AI along with the knowledge base to start generating how-to content for whatever subject you work with. For example, if you're a, a yoga coach or if you're a life coach or if you're a trainer for a particular product like I am, here are the steps you can take and the power of Groove.ai to help you start generating amazing content. So let's take a look. So the first thing that we did, and you can see I didn't do it, my amazing assistant Sherlyn did all of this work. She took all of the videos of training that I did. So you could take your courses or any recordings or any webinars you've done and just transcribe them. We use a tool called Otter dot AI, but there are quite a few out there, AI tools that would just take your video and transcribe them. And so these are each a transcription, but she ran these through Groove dot AI. Let me show you what we have here. So inside, this is how to add a thank you page. So you can see that we have a title, some keywords, and a video that goes along with it inside this document. But then inside the transcript, we ran it through Groove dot AI and said, take this and summarize it into an outline step by step option. So you can see we did it in two ways. One, create an outline, and we put that in the document. The second one is a little bit more of a paragraph with sections. But what we did is we created for this specific subject at a thank you page, we created a step-by-step -step guide based on a recorded video, and we did this through otter.ai to transcribe the video, and then running it through groove.ai to actually get these outlines and these paragraphs. So what we did next is I took all of these files and we took them as text and we went into groove.ai's knowledge base and we created a knowledge base called Groove for Growth Academy, which is going to eventually hold all of the training videos, all of the transcriptions, all of the outlines that we have available. So you can see in here that each of those has been uploaded to the knowledge base and then we clicked index knowledge base. So you'll see that somewhere in here there are some files about buttons, styling buttons, and then linking a button to a block. So these are three files that have specific information about buttons. Then what I did is I went into my projects and I have a project called Groove Pages Book because eventually I'm going to have this generate a book for me with chapters for each section. But inside of this project, I went into a new conversation and I called it Blogger Kevin, which is a preset that I set up. So we have two things in place now, my knowledge base and my preset. So based on that knowledge base and preset, so you can see over here, I chose the knowledge base and I said, I want everything to come 100% from my knowledge base. I don't want you going out there to the general world and finding answers or finding copy for me to use in these options. So the first thing I did, as I said, write a Facebook post letting everyday users of Groove.cm know that they can understand and use buttons in Groove pages, include a step-by-step -step guide of how to at the end of the post. This is what I got. Attention all Groove users, did you know that understanding and using buttons in Groove pages is simpler than you think? Let me walk you through a step-by-step -step guide on how to make the most out of this powerful feature. First, log into Groove, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. And the purpose of this post, the purpose of this process was so that I can start generating blog posts talking about Groove. I can go to the next level. I can start generating video transcripts. I can take the content that I already have and start to redo it in a powerful way to begin sharing it to help people learn how to use Groove and ultimately to help people decide to purchase my academy because they see that they're going to get a huge benefit out of it. So that's the first post. Then I did a second post and said, now write a follow-up post detailing the how-to of adding a button that goes to a specific block on a page. What's interesting is when I did this one, it references here, number four, choose the recently named block from the available options. Now, what I realized was this post is missing a step. So if you want to link a button to a block, you first ought to rename the block so you can see it. And this just kind of assumes they already knew this. So what I did is I said, great, be sure to include the step at the beginning of how to name the block. Now, unfortunately, it began writing a chapter of a book for me here. So I stopped it and said, instead of that, I rephrased the entire prompt. So basically, I took this initial prompt 
up here, write a follow-up, and I added the piece that said show how to rename the block. So write a follow-up post of the how-to of adding a button that goes to a specific block on a page. Emphasize the you can do it idea. Be sure to include a how-to for renaming a specific block. So I, I gave it a little bit more detail of what I wanted in the post. But again, this is what I wrote, taking the content from this knowledge base. And with these presets, I wanted a medium post that is inspiring, optimistic, the style is conversational and descriptive, and the goal is to teach. So this is what it said. Calling all Groove.cm users today, I'm here to empower you with the knowledge of how to add a button that leads directly to a specific block on your page. Trust me, you've got this. So you can see the, the positive, I'm going to teach you, I'm going to show you how, and there we go. Number one, two, three, four, and then we go to, now that you've renamed the blocks, let's create the button and activate it with some encouraging things at the end of this. So. This is taking content that I already had, taking the transcripts for those videos, running them through a little process inside of Groove.ai, and then taking each of those things, putting it together inside of the dashboard in the projects, having a project, using the knowledge base, creating my presets, and then it generated these Facebook posts. Now, to be honest, I'm gonna take both of these posts and I'm gonna edit them just a little bit but ultimately, these are 99% done, and I can copy this and go to Facebook and what's on your mind, paste it, and you can see I have emojis, I have the step-by-step -step guide with the number, and I'm needing to do a little bit of editing on it. And there is one step in here that isn't quite right because my transcript must not have exactly all the details. So I'll fix that, but in just a few minutes. Now, I say just a few minutes, but the important part is the time that it took up front to get my knowledge into the knowledge base. And currently we only have my Groove Pages knowledge in the knowledge base. So we're gonna add all of my training in there. And then I'll be able to just create blog posts on a daily basis of how to, and this is gonna be different than creating videos, it's going to be something I can begin posting on social media on a daily basis. So that's one of the ways that I'm going to be using Groove.ai and I'm really interested to hear what are the ways you're going to use Groove.ai. Put your comment below and let me know how you're going to use it and if you're not sure what Groove.ai is yet, click the link in the description that will take you to show you what Groove.ai is and why it's such a powerful tool for anybody creating content and how you can take your previous content you've already created, plug it into the knowledge base and begin creating brand new content out of it. Give me your comments below and let's keep learning how to use Groove.ai and create amazing content for our businesses and for our customers.